Hello, hello. You got another patch note? Um, actually, when I look through, it's uh, mostly the same as the previous one. I'm just talking about the event in general. So, things like um, explaining how to get uh, Bongi plushies, how to trade in, the requirements to unlock it, the period for Hell's uh, Chicken. It's uh, all, all the same as the previous video. So, basically, you just want to get the uh, units as fast as you can, all the egos, and equip them so you can get the uh, bonus to the Bongi plushie earnings. Uh, Bongi plushie earnings only apply to your Anchorfellin spent and not the first time clears. There will be first time clear rewards, so make sure you clear every stage once. And there will be a uh, Hell's uh, Kitchen, Hell's Chicken? Hell's, chi Hell's Chicken uh, dungeon as well for you to do. Yep. So for the information that wasn't in the previous video, we have a new Rata banner. So we got the Hell's Chicken specific banner, which lets you uh, pull at uh, the Ryoshu and uh, the, the Sinclair Ego. The other two, the Dawn Ego and the Gregor Ego, uh, sorry, the Gregor Identity will be uh, free. You just need to farm the Bongi plushies and then redeem them in the coupon shop. In addition to this, we will also get a Don Quixote banner. I've been looking forward to this one because I don't have my W Corp Dawn yet. And it's also an opportunity for you to get a Telepool Dawn. For the rest, I wouldn't say that they are important to pull. If you don't have W Dawn, pull for W Dawn. And if you don't have Telepool for W Dawn, pull for Ego as well. And if you don't like W Dawn, then feel free to just skip the banner. There, uh, you can just uh, save your pulls for this banner instead if you want. As for these units, I'll talk about it in a separate video. For now, I just want to talk about the patch only. So yeah, uh, now you can uh, get Ryoshu and Sinclair from any uh, pools. They can spook you now. Yep. So besides the specific banner, they can spook you from another banner as well. Besides that, um, they also added some new packs. So we got the weekly extraction pack, the weekly thread pack, and the weekly anchor for Lin pack. Uh, from what I understand, the weekly extraction pack is actually pretty decent. It gives you 26 pools. So 273 Lunacy gives you a daily pool. So it's divisible by 13. So you get 21 single pools if you're using the paid Lunacy pool. And then you get five extra tickets. So that's 26 pools. So if you want pools, I think this is actually quite good. Um, as for the rest, someone else will have to do the math because I uh, didn't do any math for the Anchor Felin. You have to convert the boxes into, into energy and then into modules and then calculate how much uh, shards you will get from this pack and then for the weekly thread uh thread is honestly not something you should buy if you ever buy this um you're just not playing the game and you just want to get some thread yeah they're also changing the map for certain abnormalities in thread excavation um not sure why and um yeah uh, they also added a security program for the steam version besides that i think nothing else from the part one as for part two um, I think there was a very big change. Um, I'm not sure it's on this page, might be on the next page. But basically, for this change, they fixed W Corp um, Assault, where Energy Current didn't apply defense level down by spending charge count. I didn't even know this was a thing, so I was actually generally quite surprised when I saw this. Uh, Pursuance is not supposed to heal Assault, but it did. So now they make it so that it does not uh, heal my soul. So okay, that's a... I wouldn't call it a nerf, maybe just a nice a, a change. It's a change. And then uh, fix an issue where opponent's target would change when an evade skill is reused. Um, I never experienced this one, but some people have told me that when they use their evasion skill, the target would hit someone else instead. Which was a, was a pretty feels bad bug and I'm glad they're fixing that. Besides that, there's just a bunch of other UI changes as well. Um, if you want to read them, you can just read them, but uh, they are not actually super uh, important for the overall gameplay. Uh, there is one though that I'm trying to find. Uh, ah, here we go. It's an issue where the effect of Paralyze did not apply at one count. So I did mention beforehand that Paralyze did not work if it was at one, because it, it would Paralyze will read it as 1 minus 1, so 0. So there will be no Paralyze system. So you will need 2 Paralyze to have even 1 Paralyze, if that makes sense to you. For example, um, if you had 2 minus 1, uh, if you had 2 Paralyze, 
then you minus one, and then you would actually only have one effect of the Paralyze. You only activate one time. So they are fixing that, finally. So characters with one Paralyze would actually be worth something now. They would, their one Paralyze would actually count as one Paralyze. Okay, so Paralyze is just getting fixed. So now it's as you read it. So you read Paralyze, yes, that's how Paralyze works now. Okay, finally. It took so long for us to get to this part, but hey, at least it's finally here. We finally have Paralyze working as we expected to. Whew. All right. Then for the rest, um, I think there really isn't anything big here that you will need to think about. Uh, I think it's just general uh, overall changes, bug fixes, blah blah blah. They also wanted to add more visibility for Tremor Burst, so you could see that you're actually bursting how much value. And besides that, I think you uh, nothing else uh, is quite is interesting enough for a regular player. Lastly, we're getting 600 Dunacy. Woohoo! I love I love it when P1 gives me Dunacy. And uh, yeah, they added this new notes page to uh, to advise you on what you should do when you're updating. So yeah, that's it for the patch notes. Pretty fast, uh, because most of the Hell's Kitchen stuff we knew already. Hell's Chicken stuff we knew already. Yes, okay, so the new ones would be the banners, which I will cover all of them in a separate video. I just wanted to talk about the patch notes this time. Uh, if you notice I said something wrong or want me to address something in the comment section, please feel free to just post a comment and I will reply to it. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching.